Hey yo, what's up everybody? So, I've been meaning to get a Hecarim game in for this for quite some time. I've played like five different games that I thought were amazing and they just turned out ending up really unfortunate. So, I think this game's gonna be the one. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. This is my third account and it's Master 100 LP currently. I just got my two main accounts at Challenger, so I feel great. I'm all fresh and ready to go. Hecarim is a very strong champion that I've had so much success with. But for some reason, every time I start recording, I don't know what happens. But this is going to be the one. I'm telling you right now. We're against probably one of the most Giga AIDS comps I've ever seen. A Trundle, Garen, Janna, Sivir, Karthus. Now, the thing is, is that I think Hecarim has such a strong potential to carry games 1v9. So I think you guys will actually enjoy this pick a lot. See, the thing that you might notice is that a lot of my champ pool is solo carry junglers, such as... You know, Kane, Kha'Zix, Graves, Hecarim, Bye. They all tend to solo carry. Now, I play every jung in the game, so I could play your Graguses and Zacks and stuff like that. You know, I could play, I could play any jung. But the thing is, is that I like to play what I find the most fun and the best at carrying. So I just want to kind of teach you guys how to carry games similarly to how I do, because I, I bet a lot of you get sick of like bad teammates just fucking causing it to be near impossible to win a game in solo queue, trust me. I got really fed up too. And I remember Ardent meta, there was nothing a jungler could do. And then Riot released Kane, and I demolished solo queue. <laughs> so, I mean, I think definitely you guys will be in love with this champ pool, and hopefully you can learn a lot from the tips and advice I'm giving, and just the overall game knowledge I'm trying to give. This guy's taking forever to load. I really, really don't think it's going to be a remake. Otherwise, you know, I want to upload this video. But kind of sucks because i don't want to sit here and talk for like three minutes non-game oh oh there he is oh okay all right this guy's toaster he's got the little hamsters on the wheel running around okay i believe in you he's running press the attack resolve actually that's pretty weak the main thing i need to do is not get fucked on early game and i'm actually gonna go full damage this game don't tell my team because they would freak out but i'm gonna go full damage because i do not want to go tank against a trundle Cause you know he's just he's just gonna press R on me. I don't want to make his R uh, do anything good. No, obviously Trundle counters tanks. So you guys are actually gonna see my pathing. Path now this is a pathing path a lot of you probably haven't seen done correctly. It's probably the best pathing path in the game by far, by far. And I can tell you why. See, first things first is that it's the quickest way to level three. Not only that, but it's the quickest way to level six. It's the quickest way to get XP. And I'll tell you exactly why. So, your Krugs and Raptors, the second spawning and third spawning, they give a lot of XP compared to any other camp. So, to do them early on and to go to them as soon as they spawn is super strong. Alongside with getting ganks off, you can be level 6 before 6 minutes. The quickest I've been level 6 was at 520, which is insane. And on a champ like Hecarim, who can do so much with his R, you can practically end the game for 10 minutes if you're playing good enough so hopefully this is a good game i really want to get this out there for you guys we're going to be starting red we're going to be getting trinkets on these two bushes it's super important you need to be telling your team to ward both bushes need a leash here this is the most important thing they have a ward there we're not going to care about this this is not important this is just to know where a trundle is so we don't get cheese the main thing about this path thing is surviving not getting cheese and hoping your team doesn't die to free ganks. So you got to be very aware of the map and just be very cautious. So one of the first things you need to know is where the enemy jungler is going to wind up. So uh, definitely I'm just going to be looking on the map to see where he leashes. So watch how I do this. So Garen came into lane a little bit late and he was regening. So this means that he was probably tanking autos as opposed to bot lane. Janna was actually a little bit out of mana. See, it's kind of hard to tell where they leash from. I'm going to go with red because it just makes more sense. They See, they hid uh, where he started because they both came to lane late. Either way, I mean, Trundle's going to wind up in one of these scuttles. So I'm going to know where he is soon. Now, my pathing looks pretty dangerous so far. But don't worry. I got a plan. Evolves using my W. <laughs> Now, uh, the main thing about this path is you want to keep your Q up almost throughout the cam. So, obviously, you can't go from Krugs to Raptors and keep your Q up. So, there he is. I was right. He started red. He did red and another camp. It could be Wolves. It could be Raptors. I don't know yet. So, we see him. The Trinket just died. 
but we're gonna be spam pinging over there there's many things he could do but the main thing i need to be cautious of is if he ganks now you can actually smite this when you cc it and if you do it does more damage see that it did 537 damage there as opposed to the normal 430 so that's why i saved smite for that camp and as you can see i'm full hp almost full mana so now we're just gonna farm these next three camps now if you guys see my runes i have predator so this is a huge reason of why this path is really good as well so i'm just gonna keep pinging out where he is i know where he is right now i think he did raptor second i'm not sure yet so i don't know um but it looks gankable eventually but i'm not sure about right now remember what i said keep your queue up so if you guys are looking it says i have two stacks that's my queue gotta kite this camp out gotta kite it out Make sure that stays up, okay. Watch in bot lane, because that's the lane. But if I want to gank anywhere, that's where I'm going to gank. So look at my Q. Keep it up. Alright, there you go. So, we're just... This is super good for a hack room, to be able to get this full clear off. It might not seem like a lot, but trust me. This is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, there's Trundle. He finally showed. 24 CS. I'll get a sweep early on. My Krugs are going to respawn soon, but I might want to try and gank pot or something right now. Rundle's are actually pretty low as well. And if Cast and TPs... I think if he TP'd to the minion, I actually could have just helped him out there. Yeah, but Trundle backed off now, so I don't know. Yeah. So I think I'm actually just going to walk into this Trundle's jungle and see what I could take, because his Raptors are respawning right now. And he's really low, because he didn't base. Yeah, see, I'm right. Yeah. So I'm actually just going to walk here confidently. Try and take this as they spawn. Now, as I mentioned, the second spawning of Raptors and Krugs gives a lot of XP. So, he didn't, or, yeah, he didn't do his Krugs yet. He just did his Raptors. I could have tried to take his Raptors, but that's way too greedy. So now I'm going to run all the way over to my Krugs. doesn't matter if I've been seen, because I already got the camp and I'm out. So things are going good for us. Uh, we know Trundle is going to be around bot side because his raptors are respawning. So yeah, there he is. So we knew that he was going to go to his Krugs instead. Sadly, I think I have to give up the scuttle. Uh, I just keep watching. Notice how I keep watching the lanes around me to see if there's anything gankable. This is our best opportunity right now, I think. So we're just going to clear this. Okay, ready? Make sure this is not warded. They get behind him. And there you go. Very good. Now look at our XP. Look at our XP, guys. It's 5 minutes and 40 seconds. And we are almost 6. This is insane. The average time you get 6 is around 7 minutes. Now we know where Trundle is. He just cleared that scuttle. So I'm going to ping them. Be careful. You know, he was obviously around there. So he's going to go for the scuttle. See, I'm in pretty dangerous territory right now. I'm at a point where I... See what's going on. This is pretty dangerous. I'd say back off. Now, normally, the first item you want to buy, the Sheen, but I don't have enough, so I'm just going to be rushing a Phage instead. Okay, it looks like Alistar is going crazy on him. Oh, that. Pretty good. Pretty good. My bot side camps are spawning. Uh, I actually might be able to kill their bot lane because their bot lane is going to be super over cocky because it's a 1v2. So, I'm going to ask for sums and see if we can do anything. If they have no sums, I could just ghost and R on them. So, like they have no sums, we're just going to go for the kill here then. Ready. Okay. So, we got, we got Sivir's Flash, and then we just knocked back the... The 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 Ganna and then Kasten came in for the cleanup. I'll take that. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I should just let me have it. It's fine. No problem. I, I'm getting Krugs as well, so I'm really ahead. I actually only got one one death for free. It kind of sucks. No problem though. All right, I'm gonna try and put down my control ward. I want to get a Sheen right now. Sheen is gonna be huge. Uh, Trundle just came from my jung, so he just took that camp, as you can see. Got him, and obviously, oh, red's gone. 
So, I'm gonna get Sheen, Ace, and try to force a play with my Predator. See, this is the great thing about Hecarim, is that you can always force a play if your Predator's up, or if your Ghost is up, or if your R is up. So it's like you have three different options of forcing ganks. At this point, just notice how I keep forcing, forcing, forcing. It's just working out super fucking well. I'm actually super satisfied with this game so far. Just gotta keep uh, power driving our lead. This is definitely gonna be a dive opportunity, so just shove wave and we're gonna dive. I'm not gonna waste my E yet, cause I might just uh, render an E under tower. Yeah, we're gonna let them push wave and then we're just gonna dive. We don't know where Trundle is yet, so it's gotta be a little cautious. So yeah, we're just gonna look for a play here. I'll just solo this guy out. Yeah, use my R. Make sure you dodge these fucking use. Oh, I didn't dodge that one. Oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage. Look at his build. The sword boots rush. Yeah, diving the tower was a little dangerous because we knew Trundle was gonna be right behind. Um, I should have pinged him off, but I did get the kill on card, so I'm, I think I did that fine. Did Alistar die? Yeah, I think he's the one who died. I was wondering who died. Yeah. So, might be a play to be made right here. I think so. Right, I'm gonna try and make a play here. Here we go. Kill her. She's gonna die. I don't need that kill. Oh, we should take tower. Take your tower here is great. So yeah, just find some somewhere to just continuously fucking demolish. For me, it's bot lane because I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't really want to gank a Garen. I'll be real honest with you. I mean, top honestly as a jungler right now in this current meta, I think it's patch point eight eight point nineteen. I might be wrong, but it's something like that. Um, in this current uh, meta, you don't really gank top lanes that much. The only time when I gank top lanes is to get a free kill, but Garen is pretty much the opposite of a free kill. I'm gonna share tower gold with this guy because I'm just so huge and I'm pretty much the carry at this point. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm only 200 gold off my Triforce, so I'm actually just gonna be getting it. See, if this was an Infernal or a Mountain, I'd be going for it, but Ocean's not that great on us, so I'm actually just gonna leave Ocean up because this is the point where you'd normally just be like, okay, let's take this. Uh, now let's take the dragon. I don't do much for him. Uh, let's take the dragon. And then let's take our bot lane and put them top lane. See, we don't need to do that because uh, Ocean's not really that important. We could rotate our bot to top to help me get Rift, but I don't think we need to do that either. I think we could just have Lucian be anywhere. Just have Alistar run with me. Because the thing is, we're not playing off Lucian to carry. We're playing off me to carry at this point. So, I mean, me being the carry is pretty huge. Um, I'm going to go for the kill right here. I'm going to Predator it up right now. Got Alistar. Predatoring. Hopefully good. Yeah, sweet. Well played by the Alistar. So I'm just huge. 3k gold, punishing our lead. If they're overextended. I'm killing them both. Gonna use flash there. Never use heal. They tried to outplay it. And as I've whispered in your guys' ear early on, I'm going to be going full damage, I believe. So I'm going to show you guys just how to 1v9 a game on Hecarim. This is a challenger game, by the way. Just to let you all know. It's like it's like low challenger, though. It's like low challenger, high master. Nothing too crazy. I'm not playing with like a, you know, all of a CLG or TSM or some shit. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't watch fucking competitive league anymore, to be honest. So I don't know if those are the best teams. Whatever the best team is, I mean, I'll be honest, I play against, like, a lot of the best teams in solo queue. A lot of the times, they don't try hard. And, you know, the simple reason is, is because they spend all day scrimming. So, in solo queue, they, it's just for practice. So, they're going to play what, like, they think might be good and test shit out. So, I mean, they have really good mechanics but and good game knowledge. But a lot of the time, they're not that hard to play against. Because they're not playing, like, champions that I'm really nervous about. Like, if they're playing, like, Akali every game or Kais every game, yeah, sure. But... I, I mean, I actually like playing with uh, pro players, to be honest. It's usually it's easy. They're pretty fun to work with. 
except for except for a couple of black sheep that are a bit annoying. <laughs> gonna say who? All right. Well, I think I can get a kill. I don't really want to get Garen because he can do like half my HP with just his R alone. So it's a bit, a bit worrisome for me. All right. Um, force a play and rift it up. Like I said, I'm just gonna be playing with this uh, Alistar. So. Wherever he goes, I go. Wherever I go, he goes. So, we want to take Gromp, we want to take Camps. Yeah, sure, let's do it. And obviously, we're looking for a pick, and after the pick, we're going to put down Rift and get some towers. Oh, alright, fuck the Gromp. Got us a kill. Oh my goodness! Yeah, if you guys were curious why I did not want to gank... Why did, yeah, Aatrox should let Alistar tank. But, if you guys are wondering why I camped bot so hard this game, this is why. This is why, guys. This is why. It's actually insane. This champion's just fucking nuts, dude. I don't know. Alright, well, let's close this bad boy out, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great game. I think they're getting Ocean right now, actually. Looks like Trundle is. Oh, I'm really ahead of the enemy jungler. I have two level lead. I'll path him and I'll uh, rethink him. Yeah, watch this. I had fire in my blood. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna suicide for a Janna kill, to be honest with you. If the TP didn't go through. Yeah, sure, I'd go in there, but we went through, boys. I can't really do anything, I don't really have anything up. <laughs> I mean, Aatrox is huge as well, so. Fortunate for us, boys. Sweet as shit. <laughs> I really, I really impacted that fight a whole lot. Great job, Hecarim. Thanks, Hecarim. Ow. Okay, that guy leave me alone. I wasn't gonna take that from him. I'm gonna try and get Steric's gauge right now if you're wondering what the HP is for. I promised a full damage game and I'm going full damage boys, don't worry. Actually I'll be I'll be real honest with you, I don't wanna go full damage anymore. <laughs> I have a lot of damage on my team right now with Aatrox and uh Honestly Wait guys, look at his fucking gold. Wait, wait for him to finish the coal. Wait. He has Holy shit, he has 6k gold! Wait, that champion's broken, guys. Alright. Fuck the fucking Hecarim video. Next video, we're doing Aatrox Jungle, boys. How to make Aatrox Jungle work in Challenger. Okay, did that much damage in that fight with 6k gold in the bank. That's the most craziest thing I've seen in a while. Uh, we need somebody mid. I think we need that TP, homie. And it might- Wait, oh! It's that TP. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm with you. I'm getting fucking- <laughs> This isn't tank, boys. This is, a. Uh... This isn't what you think. I'm getting Steric's gauge after. That's damage, right? Okay, so... Trundle's building a fucking Titanic Hydra. So behind, though. I feel like he should just, like, kill Sivir and get a Night Spell. The Sivir's actually pretty good so far, from what I've seen. Her mechanics are pretty on par. Thing is, there's not much an AD carry could do when you just hard camper this much. So, anytime I play against like, a really good AD carry, like TSM's Ven, or, like, uh... Lost or some of the other well-known AD carriers in NA, uh, like double F, like all these people, I usually just tend to camp them <laughs> because you know you can't really do much in this current meta. He mid playoff hack. I thought that's what Alistar was doing. Wolf. Here's our Lucian. That he's playing off us. Oh my goodness, wait, that Aatrox just one-shot that guy. Oh, that Janna NATO. Dude, that's such an unfun champion to play against. We would have had her because I would have just hard. Maybe I should have hard, even though the Q didn't land. I don't know. But I feel like if I got behind her by accident, she would just army away and I'd die for 100%. 
See, I don't like suiciding for an 0 and 6 Janna as much as it sounds like a great time, you know. Alright, well, let's focus on closing out this game and being informative. So, gotta keep taking the camps, denying resources. Of course, of course. Force plays with the Alistar and Hecarim combo. What the fuck was that sound? Um, you know, obviously, we're all super fed, so. I think if we just play off Aatrox R and Alistar R, we can actually just do it with quick please. I think I just die here. Yeah, that was uh, a bit ambitious. We had pretty weird focus there that fight. I don't think we should go in under tower to be honest with you. Like, we win, but I don't know. I think what happened that fight was... Um, I don't know, I think we just we just played into their win condition, which was like Karthus being that fucking big. Yeah, they have too much of a good disengage with Karthus. They have like their entire comp is pretty much disengaged. Their comp actually counters our comp a good amount. Trundle and Janna and Karthus. So we had to make picks. We can't really dive tower. I should have mentioned that before. I I mean I didn't think it was gonna go in. I thought we were just gonna siege and like kinda poke him out. But uh I was not prepared for that obviously. Maybe if I went in immediately, like if I was right behind Alistar, it could have worked because we would have just connected our, um, our CC. I don't know. I feel like we don't have the burst. If Kassin gets 16, yeah, we do, but he's on level 12. <laughs> We're a little far off from uh, that point in the game, but it's no problem. No problem, no problem. Alrighty, so now we just gotta play off Baron and our split pressure. I don't think Aatrox can kill Garen in a 1v1, but he should win the 1v1. 100%. But this guy doesn't get caught out again. Yeah, that guy chunked him. I feel like I should just dive on the Sivir. We can maybe fight here. I mean, we have cast and pressure, so if they have five, we should not 5v5 or 5v4. This is good. See, we could take so much. For free. Oh, what the hell? That was a miss. Alright. That's what we need to do, boys. That's all we needed. Ah, shit. Another board. Shite. Thank goodness I'm too tanky. I don't have any MR yet, but I have a lot of HP. I'm gonna get MR right after Steric's Gage. That was really good. See, we win that when we do that type of fight, because we're so ahead. Because obviously, if they had more gold, they would win that fight. Or if they were even in gold, they'd win that fight. But... The thing is, is that we don't win if it's under tower and in Karthusy and he gets his full combo off and he gets his R off. We just played super hard in that win condition. See, look, Kassin even soloed fucking Karthus right now. See, so we're playing super smart right now. It's a pretty exciting game though. Lots of throws, good plays being made. Uh, let's uh, focus on getting this item though. Super important item for us boys. Yeah, I think I, I, I kind of messed up the other fight, too, because I went to kill Janna, but I should have killed Sivir. Like, I should always just be going on Sivir, I think. Janna's annoying, but she's not. If, if they were ahead, yeah, it'd be good to kill her, but not really ahead, so. Yeah, I don't really like to worry about it. Just keep playing smart, boys. You can just do Baron. See, here's what happens. We have an open bot in him. The wave's gonna be pressuring and the map's gonna be pushed. So we could just uh we can uh sit around Baron and they're eventually gonna have to send somebody bot to clear the wave. Otherwise, you know, they're gonna lose their base. So when they send someone bot, we can either start up Baron and we just get off as soon as they come and force on them and just kill them 4v5. So that's pretty much the idea here. 
Uh, ideally, the best thing you want to have for this is control wars, but we don't have any, so I'm going to try and, like, sweep this entire entrance. Okay, so there's a ward right there. Just saw a Janna ward somewhere else. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Now we just wait for, uh, wait for bot to push. This is the waiting game, boys. We'll have enough vision to go with us. Uh, here's a blue orb. Forcing. I'll pop Predator just so they're scared. But I still have ghosts, so... Okay, that's not good. Well done, boys. Well done. What the fuck? There's a Garen. Ow. <laughs> he did so much damage. Oh, he has a Triforce. What the hell? Actually, I've seen Garrett see that before, but... Eh. Yeah, it's fine. I can tank him. Yeah, I'm just getting really huge now. This is like another huge power spike. After Sterics, you kind of start to not be as huge, though. Like, this is the... Like... Biggest point for me right here. This is this moment. Getting Sterics, and then the rest is just getting tankier. So... I'm never going to be as big as I am right now in comparison to the game as it skills. But we're pretty, I mean, we're huge. Like, it's, I could tank fucking almost their entire team right now <laughs> with Sterics. It's insane. I can kill Sivir as well. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll probably take Red. Just because I feel like diving on Sivir again. At the time, I didn't really dive on her. I let Aatrox do all that. I just killed Whoever was close to me and then killed Parthus. I think I killed Trundle it was. And he's pretty free, so why not? I don't think he got his R off either. Or at least on the right target. Okay, sweet. So now we just get Baron. Oh, wait, this guy gets kills mid, then we end. Does he get the kills mid? Oh, he gets it. Alrighty, boys. Predator it up! Get him! Alright, boys. I hope you enjoyed the Hecarim game. I expect you guys to be playing him in your solo queue if you want free wins. Feel free to copy the paths, the builds, everything. Put all these three control wards so I look like I'm a good jungler. They knock him towards my team. That's like an insect, but on Hecarim. You guys know what an insect right is. Or you know what an insect is, right? Either way, be sure to sub and like the video if you enjoyed it. Much more content to come, boys. Love you all. Thanks for watching.